and residents in one Israeli city enjoyed a rare spectacle last week. A group of horseback riders with black 19th century hats and jackets paraded into town. Our Israel correspondent has more. The city of Jaffa. Four men on horseback are preparing for a journey. We are reenacting a journey that took place 130 years ago. Men of dreams and vision set off from Jerusalem, the old settlement, in a quest to establish a new city in Israel. And that city is Petatikva. And off they go, accompanied by horse riders from all over Israel. The story of the wonderful ballad on Yoel Moshe Salomon, on the four riders that left Jaffa for Petatikva to survey the land that they just purchased and see whether it was fit for human habitation and for cultivation is that they arrived at the spot and they found that the place was very desolate. It was a swamp infected with mosquitoes and uh, they looked around and they couldn't see any sign of life. They couldn't even see, hear the song of birds. And when they realized that the place was so noxious, they decided to leave. But Yoel Moshe Salomon insisted that he wanted to stay. And he spent the night on the spot, despite all the danger. And in the morning, he woke up, the first rays of the sun came up. He heard the song of birds, and he knew that there was hope that there would be life in this place. Our four riders arrive in Petah Tikva, which tonight is celebrating its 130th anniversary. They are treated as heroes and even get their own statues. But some say the legend is not entirely true. I'll tell you the truth. They didn't ride horses because some of them were old people who weren't able to ride three hours to Petah Tikva, but they probably rode on a carriage. Others don't really care whether the legend is true or not. Having a good dinner right now seems more important. NTD, Petah Tikva, Israel.